Hello Aquarius and Aquarius rising and for those of you with an Aquarius moon this would be very helpful for you too. This is your angel oracle card reading for the month of February 2014. Now I'm going to be doing something a little different. I'm going to attach a special little Valentine's Day well, in honor of Valentine's Day, <laughs> I'm going to be posting a love scope that I will attach to this video. So stay tuned for that towards the end. In case you were wondering, like, it's February, why aren't we doing, like, love stuff? We will. <laughs> this is the Angel Tarot Cards deck by Doreen Virtue and Radley Valentine. And let's just see what comes up. I'm already feeling career stuff for you guys, but let's see if that's just my instincts or if the angels are coming through with that message. Okay, first card up we have is Page of Air. Cerebral, okay? And it says, logical, honest, impulsive, curious, challenging information, delays or changes to plants, truth delivered without tact. So this is, you know, this month might be a little challenging that somebody just comes in and just comes out of left field with something that you didn't see coming maybe you know like tell giving you some sort of criticism and and knocking you down in some way yeah they're saying get ready for this okay and this is a possibility all through february and this is career related for the for most of you this could also be um you know, someone coming out of the woodwork and saying, I hate it when you do X, Y, and Z. <laughs> and you're sort of like, well, what, you don't like broccoli? And I've been making broccoli for us for years now. You know, why are you just telling me this now? It kind of comes out in sort of a mean way too. So how can you prepare yourself for that? Why don't we stay centered as best as you can, okay? Next card up, we have Queen of Earth. All right, so we're getting a little balanced here. And it says, thoughtful, creative, warm, sensible. This is going to be your approach to whatever happens with somebody coming out and just being nasty, okay? It says, make time for those around you. Take a sensible approach. Deal with challenges in a kind and understanding manner. Okay. This is asking for you to really, no matter what happens, okay, this is asking for you to take the high road, basically, and to really stay grounded don't let people get to you. Try to have some compassion, all right? So it might be that other people are getting a little wound up and a little stressed out and they're coming at you and expecting you to make their life better. And, and this card is just asking you to, you know, yeah, I'm sorry, I just started getting a message. Some of you might be um, spending too much time in career and that's creating an imbalance in your life. All right, so we're getting a clearer message now. So this is asking you to... Um, yeah, they're saying you better pay attention to the people that matter most or they're going to holler and make sure that you do pay attention, <laughs> okay? Oh boy, this might be getting some of you in hot water with Valentine's Day. Like, don't forget it. <laughs> Maybe that's what happens. Like, oops, I got to work the night of Valentine's Day. And your honey's like, what are you doing? <laughs> no. So the next card up is Eight of Earth. And it says, skilled work is rewarded. Learning all there is to know about a topic. Going back to school. You know, school is, this is the education card, okay? <laughs> February might school you on remembering Valentine's Day, but no. This can be in a structured way, or this can just mean, um, you know, taking some seminars or maybe you, you read some books and you do some studying on your own to get better at whatever you're going towards. Okay. It's still very career heavy. I, they're not backing down from that. So seriously, don't get yourself in trouble with Valentine's Day. I'm not even joking about that. <laughs> People get feisty about that if you forget. But this is about using the month of, of February to really just sort of like better yourself. Um, yeah, they're saying go back to basics. So getting back in tune with what do you really want out of your career? What do you want on your path? Remember, those could be two separate things, okay? How are you going to show up in the world? How are you going to define yourself, okay? This, this is asking you to go back and pick up all those things that you kind of skipped over before, right? Aha, uh -huh. they're saying some of you in January when you were advised not to push forward 
went ahead and pushed forward. <laughs> All right, so it's okay. You get to take two on this. You get to go back and um, anything you may have skipped over, anything that might have um, been overlooked, they're saying, you can go back and redo. It's interesting because uh, Mercury is going retrograde in February. So this is definitely your time to go back and fix a few things. Okay. Next card up we have is Page of Earth and it says scholarly, dependable, patient, successful. All right. So you'll be rewarded for all the hard work that you put in. It says good news about financial matters, wanting to do something more challenging, a new area of study. Okay, so this tells me that you guys, some of you are going to be embarking on something entirely new. So if it's in your existing, um, say, industry, okay, you're, you're going a different direction with it. You're, you're taking on a new challenge. And it will involve you having to get, either get trained or you'll have to go and get further education. A lot of corporations have their own little university that they send people off to so that they get trained in the way that that corporation wants to be represented. Um, this could be some of you striking out. Certainly you guys are the ones that can go out there on your own and make it work. Okay, it's an Aquarius that can do that. <laughs> so there will be a lot of that going on too, but really it's, I mean, you got a lot of earth cards here this month and that just means staying grounded, being grounded, down to earth, you know, planting roots, planting seeds, and getting ready for a very fertile future, okay? So I hope you have a great month. Remember to stay tuned for the Love Scope. Bye. Hello, Aquarius. So here it is for Valentine's Day, or in honor of Valentine's Day, I am doing a special love scope for February 2014. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do an actual reading with the Dorian Virtue um, Romance deck. And then I have this adorable little Love Notes deck by Lisa Atkinson. And I will pull a few of those cards. I'm not gonna go through a whole reading with those. They're just for fun. They're just cute. They, they're almost like those little Valentine's that used to give out in grade school. Okay, here in the US at least we do that. So here we go guys. Let's see what's up for love for you in February. Okay, and for the love cards, I'm only going to pull three cards. Because I don't know why, but with the whenever I use the romance deck, I feel like three cards is powerful and then like the fourth just kind of like reiterates whatever the other three said <laughs> so here we go first card up heart to heart conversations honest honestly discuss your feelings with each other okay so if you want love to come in you got to start expressing your love you got to start letting people know how you feel and you can see in this artwork that one of the parties is a little resistant to have that conversation <laughs> fear not you're not they're hearing you okay but you at least have to make the effort to get in there and honestly discuss how you're feeling too often we try to hide behind this veil um, and and we might be in denial about how we feel about somebody so this might be you having a heart-to-heart -heart with yourself and coming to terms with how you feel about somebody okay next card up we have is wedding it says this situation involves marriage okay guys let me just tune in yeah a lot of you who are watching this are going to be having heart-to-heart -heart conversations with somebody who is a potential husband or wife now don't get all crazy because some of you went and talked to your ex-husband and your listener is going oh my god and you send me emails going does that mean i'm gonna get back with my ex-husband no you divorced him for a reason and you spent a lot of money doing it don't go back <laughs> don't go backwards okay this situation involves marriage so maybe you you know you're talking to someone that you once were married to so it's either you're you're you know interacting with somebody that you were once involved with on a very serious level or you have some potential partner coming in, okay? And then the final card we have for this deck, reconciliation. Oh, I lied. Maybe you are going to get back together with your ex. Holy cow. Okay. So it says someone from your past is returning to your life. There we go, kids. 
okay. Good luck in February. Hope you're having a good time on Valentine's Day because it seems like it might be like, it just might be a really joyful thing. I mean, it's reconciliation. But sometimes when you're reconciling with somebody, the cracks in the relationship are already there. And they're an ever part of your future because you're always remembering what happened, okay? But this is a beautiful time for forgiveness, um, bringing that beautiful love back together. And um, just take your time with it. Enjoy it, okay? February is the month that you're supposed to just enjoy the lighter side of love okay so now we're going to do a lightning round with these little little cards because they're just too cute wait until you see it's so funny they have these little like vintagey old valentine's day images too cute all right let me just tune in okay we have love forgives aww that's pretty significant given this whole reading. It's like, I mean, I was joking that you wouldn't be getting back together with an old spouse, but maybe, hey, who knows? Next card up we have, love apologizes. Oh, y'all, and that goes right with the reconciliation card. Sorry, but okay. What do you guys got going on? Weren't you guys the ones making babies last month or something? Somebody was. Someone was getting crazy. All right. So here's here's your month to heal in your heart and in your love life. Okay? Look with love. Look with compassion. Look with love and compassion towards yourself. Look at that little blindfold of the little, little cherub. <laughs> Too cute. I do have a, you can't see her back there, but she's back there on my little love altar that I have there. Um, she's a little cherub back there. And then, of course, the swans. Um, but yeah, look with love and try to look with love from this moment going forward. Okay, guys, good luck in the love department. I'm sending you all my love and have a beautiful month. Take care.